Good morning everyone! Exciting times! Today I am here in town, Ayala, and uh, I'm gonna learn about real estate in the Philippines today. I've had a two-hour meeting just to get familiar with the market, understand different scenarios, what's a good investment vehicle here, are we talking about new built condos, are we talking about buying land? There's a lot of different options for investors in the Philippines and I'm very interested in learning all about it. So it's part of my growth journey now and I'm very excited so I will hopefully learn a lot today. I'll let you know what I figure out. So when I have business meetings, I always bring this bag. Really like it, also turns into a backpack. And that way we kind of look like we are serious, hey! Wearing something very simple today, but I like to mix it up with a couple of fresh kicks. So, Stefan Joukowsky is from Nike. One of my favorite shoe brands. I can never go wrong with that. And thank you to Hertz Philippines for supporting us. Love you guys. So here in Manila, this is our local mall. It's called ATC, Ayala, Alabang Town Center. Beautiful mall, open mall. Reminds me of an open mall in the US. Very nice. Hi guys, completely got to vlog what happened after uh, my real estate meeting today. But everything went really fine. So many different investment opportunities here in the Philippines and it's all pretty new to me, but I'm learning. It's like basically you can buy into condos, pre-sale or finished, or you can get into empty commercial lots. So those are like the most popular investments here. Very excited to learn about it. Had a very productive day, but now it's dinner time with the team. Closing the office. Yes. Hello. Sino yan? Woo. Who's here? Who's here? Wow, Team Marvin. J. Sarah and who's this? J. What's up? For us. What's up? <laughs> you guys cooked? Wow. Mm, smells like mac fried chicken. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Christmas lights are on. Yeah. No furniture, but Christmas tree is important. <laughs> That's what my dad said. <laughs> you! Good morning, everyone. I am finally feeling 100% back after uh, catching the Manila flu two, three weeks ago, and I'm very excited. I'm a firm believer that you can't be a passenger of your own life, you have to be the driver. So if you want stuff to happen, you gotta get out there, meet people, talk to people, and make things happen, you know? You can't just sit around for the things to come your way. So, I have set up a really cool lunch today, together with a couple friends, and trying to, you know, network, leverage each other's uh, different parts and what we're working within in different industries. Just trying to set up like a mastermind here in the Philippines. Uh, I think it's very important that if you're moving to a new place that you're constantly out there on a network, understand the culture, understand opportunities and abilities. So that's what today is all about. I'm driving into Manila. We live about 40 minutes outside and there's something in the Philippines called color coding. So can't leave before a certain hour if your license plate has a certain number on it. So much new things to get used to, but I'm excited. And then uh, yeah, let's just see where this uh, day goes. I'm excited to get into BGC and show you that part of Manila as well. Wow, my dream car as a security car. <laughs> so sick. One thing I didn't mention this morning, guys, is that today I am having a meeting with Toby's Sports here in the Philippines. It's a very, very nice sports store. And we're trying to set up a, some sort of collaboration with them. Very excited. If it pushes through, I'll definitely tell you guys more about it. The dream is to build a gym at home. That's why we're here today, to see if that's something that Toby Sports can help me achieve. Exciting, man. Such a beautiful store. Wow, guys. 
That was such an exciting meeting. So talking to Chris, the head marketer there at Toby's now, and we got some cool plans for you guys. So stay tuned. I'm definitely excited to forge a, a partnership with a sports store here in the Philippines. And you know, to create that culture like Chris talked about, like social media is changing. It's not only about conversion or awareness, but it's about creating culture now. So exciting. So now we're gonna drive to Uptown BGC. It's about a 10 minute drive and that's where we're gonna meet so many cool people today. Come along. Hey, how are you? You look great. I, I die. <laughs> Welcome to BGC, bro. Thank you. <laughs> oh, guys, we are here in uh, Uptown right now. Chris just introduced me to charcoal Greek yogurt, which was so nice. And it apparently, okay. apparently it absorbs your inner toxins and you get rid of it. We're catching up with Chris. If you guys been watching the vlogs, you know, we went to Bangkok. We went to uh, Bali together. It's a good time. There's a train inside the mall. That is so funny. <laughs> Today. So today we have a couple things planned. It's a power outage in the village today. They're working on some uh, power lines, getting electricity up to date. But uh, we have some plans. We are having a meeting today, hopefully with a really cool collaboration. So we're inspired to meet all these new people now, trying to network, set up things for Casa Marbella. Good times. Look at her. How cool is my wife today? Wow. Hello. Louis Bayon from Biko. 350 pesos <laughs> <laughs> and this one is from Thailand I think this is 100 pesos wow the, this one. I like it's your three. shoes I like it uh, this one is my home I know where is this from the bright the bright. Wow. 50 pesos 50 pesos <laughs> and then this one is 65 pesos from Biko nice I love your I like your outfit today I tried Thank you. I tried to match it with something that was a little like mm. Inviting, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go for a trip. Let's go. All right, everyone. So now we are on the way to meet a person from a golf cart company here in the Philippines. My dream is that we, you know, we're living in a village where people have golf carts when they go around. I kind of envision us driving a golf cart and especially you, Ava, you know, having the ability to, you know, go to the grocery store. I think it's such a great vehicle to have when you're living in a place like this. So hopefully Joseph has some type of models of golf carts that is similar to what we're looking for. Excited. Guys, we are now exploring a new place we've never been to. Block 10. Mm -hmm. I really want a motorcycle. Don't tell you work a lot of things. <laughs> As a man. But yeah, this is a very cool place. It reminds me of industrial Kaka'ako in Honolulu, if you know the place. Just like that. So many cool motorcycle helmets. Wow, look at it. So many different designs. I, I don't know my dream, but like, like one I want is like a cafe razor, and then I want a helmet like this. And then I'll show you my vision. Similar to this is kind of my vision. 
we so. have the Vespa. Oh, Vespa. Ava's dad has Hi, a pa. Vespa. <laughs> borrow the Vespa, Mag Papa. Borrow po. Mag borrow. <laughs> then we'll need a helmet like this. Right? So nice. Very cool place. Magana yung ganito po atin. Ah, 399.5. Weren't you just talking about this in the yes. car? Yeah. So what can we do here? We can paint pots and... Maybe we can ask the lady. Ab is becoming very like, look at, like she wants to explore like creative avenues. This is like, you can paint stuff. Maybe you can even mold them. to see that this place exists. It's so creative. There's a store for camping gear. This is like super cool oh, camping car, car camping. Oh, that's like my dream car to have. Pickup truck. We rented one of these from Hertz. But look at that thing. So Ava is from Bicol, the province of Bicol. And to get there from Manila is like 14 hours drive. And usually we tend to make it so that we do a camping in the middle. That's why we need this. This is why I'm out networking because you tell people like, hey, want to meet? And then they recommend their favorite place. And now you're just like mind blown about this amazing place that you never knew existed. I'm really a firm believer that if you want more output, you have to have more input. You meet, need to meet more people, get ideas and allow you to think differently. Oh my god, they have this inside the restaurant. We might be going here every Sunday from now on. Like Formula One on the TV, racing here. Oh my god. If I have some friends watching from Norway, like Kyle Meyer, Cohen, if you guys come over, this is where we're gonna be spending our Sundays. Uh, I won't actually have been dreaming of having this in the house, but now that I know it's just a 10 minute drive away, why not? I'm almost crying because it's everything that I think is cool in one place. And I didn't know it existed. So nice. I can just, I could die now and I'll be happy, you know? <laughs> I think one of my future dreams is to be successful to the point where I can allow more of my time to be spent on a hobby like this with racing, just in general, moto culture, right? So cool. So the meeting I'm gonna to have today, kind of like my journey towards like showing my interest that I want to be in this space and finding individuals that are excited for what we can do, right? With, with the vlog and everything. Guys, we are now in Landers. <clears throat> Guys, we are now in SNR. Jay, what's happening? Yeah, Abby is uh, buying for her baking. She wants to bake. Yeah. She's a baker now. Yeah, she wants sorry. to bake now. Uh, Jay was telling me that since I get to do the outdoor gym, that yeah. she should be allowed to do the baking. I thought you were on my team, Jay. Apparently, he's on Ava's team now. Gifts from Atikia, Bernie, and Marilyn. Yes. Housewarming gifts. 
This is perfect because um, I've always wanted to do baking again, yeah. but I never got the chance because first of all, we don't have time, mm -mm. and then we didn't have the proper oven. Yeah, which so, we do now. Yeah, so I'm excited to explore more with baking or making like pot rolls, dishes. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. This is mm. what we got. Like yeah. some measuring cups, like this thing. And a hand mixer. Hand mixer, oh. yes. So, thank you guys to our Patreon community. And also, I wanted to say that I'm really excited to eat all these things that we've been making. Hello there, uh, lady. Hello. What's happening on Ava's kitchen today? <laughs> well, I am going to try to make like a big macaroni, but it's not in elbow macaroni. So, let's see. For those who didn't know, Ava is actually a chef by profession and we've wow. been dreaming of her to have a kitchen where she can do activities like you guys see just now. Makes me so happy to see this babe. <laughs> me too. I can't find my apron though because I haven't been cooking in a oh, while. Oh, so. we got an apron from yeah, we our do. friends that said Chef Ava. Yeah. Huh. Alright. Well, I'm excited to eat. Getting hungry. <laughs> I'll try my best. Salamat. Guys, me and Jay were sitting up here in the office and we we're just like fascinated by the smell that's coming from the kitchen downstairs. <laughs> right? We're like, oh, oh wow, I can't wait to eat. So my balcony on the office is actually right above the kitchen where Ave is currently working. You know, as a husband, you get so happy when you see and hear your wife playing Italian cooking music, chopping the knife, singing, you know, it's like, wow, this is why we work really hard to be able to hear these moments happen. And I'm so happy, like this house is giving us the ability to create new habits and new memories and stories. So we're really, really thankful for that. Let's go, let's go see her. This is, what can I say? A year, several years plan leading to this moment. Hello. Hello. Uh, so we were sitting upstairs and it smells so good. What? I kid you not, we were like, oh my God. What do you want? No, I don't want anything. I'm just so happy. You know, and we can hear you cooking, the Italian music playing. Yeah. So I have to come down to see all the progress, you know? It's like the, man, the man's job to check, oh, is everything going well? Mm, okay. Yeah. How's it going though? Yeah, it's fun. What's the plan? Uh, I'm just winging everything. This is all like just, <laughs> I don't know, eyeballing things. <laughs> I hope it's tasty. Oh, from that smell? <laughs> so you're not using the oven at all then? I will later. Oh, so this is happening first and yeah, then yeah. into and the then oven. Get into the oven. I can't wait to taste it. Correct. I hope it's good. when your wife knows how to cook and you get to eat. Yeah! Wow! Okay, this me. Oh my god! <laughs> so yummy! <laughs> no. Let's get a serving spoon. I will get a serving spoon, but I think what we need now is a dining table. Oh my god! You know lasagna is like... It's not lasagna, it's oh. big uh, cannelloni because we don't have the lasagna pasta. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good for you now. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah? Sure. Oh God, that makes me really excited. That's actually one thing I love about you. You never like try to hide. The oh, no, it's not that good. Come on. Take the credit you deserve. I used five cheeses here. Five different cheeses. So there's a little bit for everyone. 
Keiner. Let's eat. 